All right, let's take a look here at string functions, the first being chop, so removes new line characters at the end of a string. So, you know, if there's a hyphen n, or sorry, backslash n, you don't wanna see that there, that's the way you get rid of it. Then you have format, so it produces a string by formatting a number of other values according to the specification. So here there are uh, percentage D lights, so this is representing a, uh, a digit. So it's taking that number, this says it's going to be formatted as a string, okay? Um, format list, so produce a list of strings by formatting a number of other values according to a specification string. So here we have uh, an array and then we have our specification. So you can see it's substituting the name there. Um, we'll look at indent. So adds a given number of spaces to the beginnings of all but the first line in a given multi-string. So here we have a string um, and what it's going to do is see where we have the interpolation here and then we have indent. I know the, the highlighting is not great because it's a, a single string, but we have interpolation. We have parentheses two, so give it a, a, a layer of two indentation, uh, and then it's going to break that up and give it indentation. So we have join, so produce a string by concatenating together all elements of a given list of strings with the given delimiter. So you use uh, delimiters is double quote, or sorry, is a comma, and so it's going to glue that together to make this, okay? If there's only a single one, there just won't be any comma in there. We can lower all the text, it's pretty straightforward. We have regular expressions, so that is an extremely powerful feature. So here we have the regex. I don't know what the regex format is. Uh, maybe it's Perl, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, there's like a bunch of different types of regex standards. So, you know, do you have to figure that out so you know how to use it? And then there's a regex all, so applies to regular expression to a string and returns a list of matches where this just is returning uh, one, okay? We have replace, so searches a given string for another given substring and replaces uh, each occurrence within a given replacement string. This is just like the JavaScript replace. We have split. This is the opposite of join. So if we want to split on the comma, we specify comma here. We have str, rev, so string reverse. So reverses a string. So hello becomes ole. Uh, we have sub ol, olel, olel, <laughs> sure, I don't know. Um, so substring, so extracts a substring from a given string by offset and, and length. So we have a substring and we're saying we want one to four. So we only want uh, one, two, three, four here, okay? Because it starts at zero. We have title, so make a title case. So capitalize the H and the W. We have trim, removes the specified character from the start and end of the string. So we don't want these and we tell it to remove those. There's a lot of string functions. Uh, so we have trim prefix. So it removes the specified prefix from the start of the given string. If the string does not start with the prefix, the string is uh, is returned and unchanged. So here we say we wanna get rid of hello in the front. So we do that. Suffix is the opposite. So we wanna get rid of world out of the suffix. So we do that. We have trim space. So it removes all types of white space from both the start and end of the line. So it gets rid of the new lines and uh, the spaces. Upper is gonna put everything to upper and there you go. On the exam, they probably will ask you uh, like what string function does or which one does not do something. So this is the only part of the built-in functions you have to know for the exam. I don't think it's a very good exam question, but it does appear there. So you need to know it, okay?